Yeah, absolutely right. Well, joining us now for more on this from Rome is Pierluigi Paganini. He's CEO of the cyber security defense firm Cyborus. Thank you very much indeed for coming onto the program, Pierluigi. So colonial Nordy hackers are letting on about how much of a ransom is involved. What sort of cash could be changing hands here? I can tell you that uh, the cyber risk for critical infrastructures worldwide is very high. Both uh, cyber criminal organizations and also national state actors could conduct cyber attacks that could paralyze uh, operation of any organization. But we cannot underestimate also the risk uh, for human life. A cyber attacks could interfere, for, for example, with a critical process of a nuclear plant or an electric grid. And uh, this could cause also disruptions and that. Yeah, really frightening, isn't it? What do we know about DarkSide or other groups like this and how they operate? DarkSide is just one of the numerous groups that are very active in this period. It's a summer crime uh, group. This means that it is using a ransomware in order to force the victims to pay uh, a ransom and to restore the operation. So usually they use a ransomware that uh, paralyze the infrastructures, and in many cases, they also steal information from the victims. This means that they attempt to implement what we call a double model of extortion. Uh, they, first of all, uh, exfiltrate information, then uh, they paralyze with the rams on the, the infrastructure, and the third part of the attacks means that they uh, try to push, uh, to make press or pressure on the victims threatening them to leak the information that they have stolen in order to avoid that the victim will only restore the operation using their backups. How vulnerable are other major infrastructure works like this in the United States or around the world? I can tell you that such kind of attacks uh, uh, can occur on a daily basis. So this means that critical infrastructures worldwide, not only in the United States, are very exposed to such kind of attacks. And uh, you have to consider that these attacks could be launched from everywhere in any time. So it's very difficult to, to defend these critical infrastructures. We are also observing an increase in the number of cyber attacks, uh, like ransomware attacks, but what is more scaring, in my opinion, is the level of sophistication of such attacks. And uh, probably we need a, a different approach. Clearly, the critical infrastructures on a global scale are too vulnerable to this kind of attacks. So you say we need a different approach. Are international efforts to curb such, such crimes sufficient? Presumably not. I believe that we need an holistic approach. Uh, what does it mean? So with me, I mean that we need to analyze the, the threat from a technical point of view, but we need also the involvement of specific uh, figure in terms of uh, investigation. Fortunately, I can tell you that the international efforts in order to curb such crimes is becoming even more sophisticated. Uh, recently, many international uh, operations that have been conducted by law enforcement worldwide have uh, dismantled also sophisticated rings uh, of cybercrime, and in many cases, they also prevented national state actors. Pierluigi Paganini from Cyborus, many thanks indeed for joining us.